Alright, as you might imagine, the first step of installing SAS is to actually go and get it. So go to SAS.com to start off with in whatever browser you prefer. If there's no link on the front page like there is here to the University Edition, you can click on Products and Solutions. Go to SAS University Edition. Get free software. Download now. And the first step is to get some type of virtual machine player on your operating system. So whatever operating system you have, download the corresponding VMware. I have Windows, so I'll click that one. And SAS only works on 64-bit operating systems, so here's Windows, Linux, whatever you prefer. Or So I have Windows, click Download, and then just wait until your download's finished and execute the file. Once you've executed the uh, VMware file that you just downloaded, you'll be taken to this screen. Click on Next, accept the terms, read them if you like, click Next. That's the default directory, change it if you want, but I'll just let it go there. Next, check for product updates, no thank you. Help improve VMware, sorry, no. I will allow a desktop icon. Next, continue. Now just wait for it to install. This might take a minute. Once it's finished installing, you can click the finish button and VMware Player should be done. Alright, the next thing you've got to do is create a unique user account at SAS.com in order to download the software. So at the top of the screen, anywhere from SAS.com, I'm just from the download page here. Click on Login. You probably don't have one already, so you can click on Create. And I trust that you guys can all read and are able to continue this process on your own, so I will jump to the next section. Alright, once you've logged in, as you can see here, welcome Kyle, I am logged in. You can now download the software. So from the download page that I originally took you to, scroll down to the bottom here, and just click on Get Download for VM Player. You're redirected now, and your download should begin automatically. If not, and you're taken to a different page, just scroll down and look for a blue download button here. And it's 1.7 gigabytes, so it might take a while. Alright, once your SAS software is finished downloading, you'll notice that it's in a uh, WinZip file. You can locate it in Windows Explorer if you want like I have if you don't know how to open Windows Explorer it's you can hold down the Windows key and press R on your keyboard then type in Explorer and hit enter but I'm just gonna double click my file here nobody ever buys this and I'm gonna you can either unzip to a particular location but I'm just gonna drag and drop it into my programs directory program files directory and then just allow it to finish transferring. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close the WinZip window. The next thing you want to do is create a directory for where you want to save your SAS files. So I'm going to put mine in this programs directory. Right click, new folder. I'm going to name it SAS University Edition. Once you've done that, I double click in that folder. Then create a new folder called My Folders. Right click in the window, New Folder. 
my folders and hit enter. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up the VMware player from wherever you saved it. And make sure whenever you open it, you run it as administrator if that's not already your default. Otherwise, you'll get some errors. So right click on the icon and go up to run as administrator. You have to click yes. You'll be given this window. Select open a virtual machine. And wherever you extracted the SAS file from the WinZip, that's what you want to open. So click on it, click OK, open. And then you've successfully loaded SAS so far. Once you're here, however, you want to edit your virtual machine settings. So click on that link here. And we want to enable sharing of some folders. So click on the Options tab and click on Shared Folders. Choose the radio box of Always Enabled. Now click the Add button. Next. Host path is where the folder is that you created. So wherever that is, for me it's Program Files. Scroll down to SAS University Edition, and then choose the My Folders folder that I created. OK, Next, enable a Share, Checked, Finish, click OK. Alright, once you've edited your settings, you can go ahead and click the Play Virtual Machine. Later on, if you have more RAM, it might be a good idea to designate more RAM or mess around with some settings if you feel like it, but for now just click on Play Virtual Machine. If you do it for the first time, you're probably going to be asked to download some VMware updates. That's fine, go ahead and do that. it just take a minute. Otherwise, you will get re redirected to a uh, black and white welcome screen. And that's what we're looking for now, once this finishes loading. Alright, once you're directed to this welcome screen here, all you're really looking for is this particular IP address. This is going to allow you to connect to their service to use SAS in your browser. So you have to have a browser open. So 192.168, let me type that in here. Two twenty three one twenty eight. Go ahead and hit enter. And now you are all set up. SAS is loaded, installed, and now you can use it. I hope that helps. It is worth mentioning that some people, due to certain processors, might have a problem installing SAS on their computer because of virtual virtualization technology. So if you have any installation hiccups, maybe leave a comment or something, I'll try and get back to you. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the program.